Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about the new invoice layout in QuickBooks Online and the handful of things you can do with it. And honestly, there's just not that much. So let's go ahead and go to plus new, go to invoice. At the time of recording, we're not able to switch back. Like Intuit said, okay, we're here, we're done, we're not changing it. So there was a field in the upper right that would let you switch back. That's no longer the case. Um, I don't like it. Uh, I tolerate it. I, I don't like it. Uh, many people don't like it. If you're one of those people who doesn't like it, I definitely encourage you to click on the feedback in the upper right hand corner and provide feedback about whatever you'd like to say. Doesn't go to me, goes to Intuit. Okay, so looking at the invoice, there isn't a whole lot we can do here. And I have videos that talk about the things you can customize here. Let me just talk about the handful of things you can do with the design. So I'm going to go over to design. Um, you can select the customization to adjust the settings. The template applies to invoices and estimates. And I'm using the modern template. By default, I think we're all using the modern template. That doesn't mean you can't use the other templates because you totally can. So it says to you select the customization. Um, let's just look and see. Okay, customizations on the top. These are all the things you can customize. So turn on ship to, turn off ship to. You can read through them. The custom fields, this disclaimer I have in the lower left, that's a custom field. Um, I think you can have three custom fields. So leave without saving, yeah, it's fine. So I can add a field, um, thing two. Oh, I've just select a form, okay. select add it says over here you've reached your limit you can get three of three custom fields so that's kind of it for our customizing if you can tolerate the way that the invoice looks on your screen like how you have to fill it out um it really you don't have much choice um, but if you can tolerate this, the way you can do, if you want, is use a different template so that when your client sees it, they see something different. So let me just take you to that real quick. I have different videos that show you how to use this, but you can go to the gear. You can go to custom form styles. It's under the header of your company. And then you can make a new style so you can make an invoice and what we'll do is we'll say dive in with template. We um, are familiar with the word modern, but the modern template we saw in the new invoice doesn't look like the modern template we have here. Um, that's fun. But there's all these different options, right? Whatever strikes your fancy. So we'll use this. We'll make it um, kind of a purple. Get choosy with our font. We get like four options to choose from, but I'll take it. Uh, he, here, right? Like this is the template that I'm making. I'm making it look super ridiculous so we can spot it from afar. Um, so template for YouTube, May, 2024. I'm gonna say done. I give it a name so that I can find it. So let me just go back and then we'll wrap this up. I'm gonna go to the invoice. I'm gonna go to design and I'm gonna say, I want template for YouTube. So I'm using an old template. It may not reflect what the customer sees, Great. I love it when that happens. Whenever you're not sure what's going to happen, I, I recommend you just send the thing to yourself. So I'm going to send whatever make believe invoice to myself and we'll see what it looks like. So we're going to add some services. Services are cool. One of them, $1. I'm going to do a review and send. So this is the email that I'm going to send. This is what the customer will see or what I think that they will see. I'm going to go ahead and select send invoice. It says the invoice has been sent. So I logged into my, my work email and this is what it looks like 
So it says General Frank, we love bookkeeping. That's the name I put for my company. It's one dollars due, print or save, invoice details. So let's just go to the bottom and grab the PDF. This is what it looks like for our client. And I think that's what I saw in the preview. I'm not really sure because I wasn't trying to make it perfect. So my recommendation, if you don't like the new layout on your screen, get a cup of coffee and learn to live with it and give feedback. If you don't like what the customer is seeing, maybe go modify an invoice template that you do like and see if you can't use that in the way that I just did for this. Hopefully that helps you and kind of gets you by. Okay, questions, comments, anything, or even suggestions for videos, just leave them in the comments below. Okay, thanks. <laughs>